Just a quick update, show you where we're at. It's Saturday, uh, what is it, 21st, I think, of October. You notice it's been raining, of course, it's always raining. We're uh, making some progress in here. The panels are long, but thank God they're long, because now that everything's built and the floor's at height and you're getting the trim and everything else, eh, the panels would have been a little short, so I'm glad they're long. I'd rather cut one and a quarter off than have them half inch short. But uh, Jeff and I figured out a system to make this work. You can see we've even... Now the first panel is a little short. It is what it is. I cut it two inches off and I needed to cut one and three quarters off. But we figured out how to get the air compressor wire out. So I just got to get a box for that. And uh, figure out what connector I'm going to use. Jeff showed me how the outriggers work and that's why the insulation's sitting up here. That worked pretty slick. We've been getting the screws in here. But yeah, this is looking good and it's not all tinny either. You know, it's not too bad. So, next week when I can work on here again, I will finish running this all the way down. We'll get this corner kind of worked out. And now these are finally here because they were short. So, I got those now. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy cars are in the garage like nice and locked in we've made a fancy little jig for handling the tin the as we're digging down we're sorting them out as best we can so we've got a couple boards set on this box to hold all the eight footers as we find them they're intermingled and then uh, a bunch of them are 14 feet and a bunch of them are 13 10 but uh We've been cutting them down to about 13, 8, and 3 8 to get a decent fit with enough slop to deal with temperature. And I gotta get that in. I gotta trim the windows, get the coil on the windows, get the coil on the doors, get the compressor over into the corner, get as much tin up on the walls as possible because that's just less weight to be working with. And then uh, not only will it be brighter in here, but then the stack will weigh less and I'll be able to move it. And get the scaffold on this side and then get this side insulated up high get that done and then we'll get our plastic up on the ceiling we'll, well we'll get our boards up get our plastic up get all the locations for the lights figured out get reinforcements there and then we can start sliding those panels up and then the only holes we got to deal with are the feeder for uh the four post lifts up there will you know be just like the rest of these where it's one drop out and then we'll run uh conduit across one on this side one for the two post one for the lights on that side that should be the only ones coming through the tin on the ceiling everything else will be pretty decent except i do have to trim up by the drums up there they're a little taller than uh, they were supposed to be so it's coming along everything uh works pretty good and this silly uh Pallet jack has been a great purchase. I'm glad I bought that. That was a good sale. I'm glad, glad to have that. So anyway, that's kind of where we're at right now. It, uh, it's starting to shape up. 